guys, so I am vlogging today. Today is the Sydney Vegan Festival and I'm so excited and that's why I'm vlogging today. I'm just picking up my friend right now and then we're gonna go. And there she is. Hi Sam. Hi. But if you think about this, like really think about it, you can go to any hospital in the world. People don't get rushed to the hospital for eating too many fucking vegetables. But on the other end, you eat too many, uh, too much animal protein. Think about all the diseases that are related to animal protein. Cancer, high cholesterol, hypertension, heart disease. My mother was actually diagnosed with colon cancer. I was like, doc, how did this happen? And he said, well, you know, too much animal protein. I'm like, wait a minute, so, this is not hereditary? And the doctor was like, no, this is a lifestyle choice. Hi, are you excited to speak? Yeah, I am. I'm a bit nervous, but you know, just taking it a little bit. So we have a Susie Spoon's chili dog. Does it taste like a real sausage? Not really. All right, I'm gonna try it. it. Tastes good. Yeah. Okay, here goes the taste test. It kind of does taste like meat, but, but like, like no, it's not. But it's not as heavy. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the only way to describe it. Gonna like film. So I'm here with Tim. Oh, nice. And it's awesome to finally meet him. Yeah. Then yeah. some good speeches. Yeah, we watched um Bad Up Vegan. Is he good? Yeah, he was good. Seems like a pretty cool dude. Yeah. And yeah. Just eating all the food. Yeah. 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 Everyone just like hangs out here, eats all the food, goes up. Checks out someone talking about veganism, then comes back, eats food, talks yeah. about the food. Yeah. And there's Bonnie. And I'm such a stalker. I already oh, like talked to her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I already talked to her before and like just put the camera in her face. I just her? Yeah. yeah. And there's Emily. Wipe her nose. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> and there's Sam. <laughs> I know. You just gotta remember it and then just roll. When you run into trouble and you wanna go back, all you gotta do is just make that big. These two young people are two of the most influential vegan bloggers within Australia. Bonnie Rebecca and Timothy O'Kane. There was a stage when I kind of lost my way a bit. I don't know if anyone's had that before. When I was 20 years old, I was partying a lot. And I kind of was just up for whatever, you know? So I did eat some animal products during that period, but I was doing all other kinds of things. So I thought, hey, you know, like, <laughs> I'm doing much worse stuff for me. Like, this is, you know, it's not that bad. And, and then I met Bonnie. Yeah. So I, when I met Tim, I had no idea about veganism. I pretty much, I'd met a few vegetarians, but I thought it was the most stupid thing ever. I mean, I thought, who on earth will live give up the most delicious foods. And when I met Tim, we were working at a bar together and he was this weird boy who brought in like fruits and watermelon and- I bring watermelon in for dinner at yeah, night. Yeah, like two massive watermelons and I just thought he was crazy. I'd be like eating lettuce before our shift started. Um, so yeah, when I met Tim, I pretty much just started asking him questions because I was really intrigued about you know, what he was eating. He kind of told me that I could eat as much as I cared for. I wouldn't have as to. As much as you want. <laughs> yeah. As I wouldn't have to restrict my calories anymore. And so I, when he told me that, I was like, okay. So I tried it and I was just eating like so much food and I just felt like so amazing when I saw so many girls surrounding me, starving themselves every day. 
because you know when you eat foods that are so high in fat, high in protein, and you know not good for you in general, you have to restrict your calories, otherwise you're gonna get fat. So um, when I changed and ate a plant-based diet, that completely changed for me, and that was my main motivation at the beginning. So. That's what I'm like so passionate about, helping others and helping them realise that they don't have to shoot their calories and they can eat as much as they want and you can save the animals and save the planet and like do it all in one, you know? Like once you make that connection that what you're eating is an animal or what you're eating is a byproduct of cruelty, like you just, I could never walk into a field and kill a cow and that was the moment I realised that why am I paying someone else to do it for me? You know, like I... Yeah. We can't just take its life for taste uh, purposes. Just for our taste. Yeah, there's, there's just... nothing in animal box that you need to be healthy. So. Yeah. so I just got home and I'm just sitting in my driveway, just letting all of that soak in. Um, today was so good. It was so overwhelming, but it was the most incredible day. It was just overwhelming because. Just being around so many like-minded people that just completely get it and they just understand and it's like for once you don't have to explain anything and they're fighting for animals and the environment and our health and well-being and they're just, they, they are fighting for the same things as you and they just totally understand it. All the food stands were there and the food stands were so amazing. They had like Susie Spoons and Funky Pies and Herbosaurus and all of these awesome places. There was Oh, Bondi juice. There was so many places. It was so good. We just ate all day and you would have seen as well that um, we met Bonnie and Tim finally. It was so good to meet them. Such down-to-earth genuine people and they gave a talk and they were really really good. It's so good to have a conversation with someone that like does the same things that you do and it's just reassuring because you know that you're not the only one and there's other people in this lifestyle too and there, there's so many other people doing this as well. It was so good today and there was really great energy and it just makes me very appreciative of the vegan community and, and people who are just doing awesome things to make shit happen and spread the vegan message and make a change, you know. And you may think that one person can't make a difference but everyone makes a little contribution and it adds up. Like today there was a room filled with hundreds of people who are all fighting for the same thing so it actually does make a difference and I know that we're getting somewhere we are definitely getting somewhere and yeah being vegan is fucking awesome so I hope you enjoyed the video today thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you later bye <laughs>